all right so what am i going to be talking about today let's see how about pressure this has been something that has been on my mind for a while now you know here in nigeria so many people are facing crazy crazy things especially young people i mean in the aspect of um finding purpose and what you are going to do in the face of all that something that we are battling seriously is significant amount of pressure take me for an example the average young broke aspiring youth in this nigerian environment and you see things like this because someone like me and i may just be working on the streets and i have friends and most of them have made it in life they are rich some through legal means some through illegal means but at the end of the day that is not what matters you have friends that are going to be like ah are you not seeing um let's say can you not see chris chris is, has made it in life chris is very rich and chris may not necessarily be doing anything good to have gotten what he may have or he may but on the other hand people just expect you to get to that point where chris is without following the required purpose all you just want to see is that you've got in there and that's a form of pressure on, others, on the other hand of it, you have ladies who have friends that keep pestering them, telling them, ah, you've not gotten married or ah, when are you going to get married? Or you could even be church members, who knows, that kind of thing. But they keep telling them, keep reminding them constantly of that fact. And maybe they may not even be, yet be ready for that kind of thing. But because people keep saying such things, you see, there is unnecessary pressure. And pressure can actually be a good thing on one hand because we have positive and negative pressure. But... I feel a lot of people tend to go towards the negative pressure. For example, an athlete. An athlete just putting himself under so much intense training. I mean, never racking training because he wants to get the best out of himself. That's a kind of positive pressure. But on the other hand, a student who is reading for an exam and um, maybe the, the, the lecturer keeps bringing so many materials, so many stuff for them to study in a very short time frame. That's a negative kind of pressure because these are things that should have been taught over a long period of time so that there would not be unnecessary pressure. But then you have so many, so many people that are out to get us because they don't know that the unhealthy the unhealthy impact that this negative kind of pressure has on people i mean especially in this age of mental health we saw naomi osaka the other day we saw simon Biles, all of them talking about um how yeah mental health has been affected <sighs> but imagine someone like me that's a medical student who cares nobody cares they just want just want you to reproduce you understand just want you to reproduce something not knowing that people face a lot of pressure i can tell you a lot of people have just broken down i mean they've broken down literally because they've not been able to face the amount of pressure that's been put upon them and the funniest thing is that especially for those kind of people that hold on to whole old principles all those old time principles that in my time things were so hard and that's how it should always be it's very common in medical school here where i study they be like uh, things used to be very hard and that's how you bring out the best of people but i believe that's a lie because um, something being made easy, there are always going to be different techniques of studying. That reminds me of the Feynman's technique, we, we, where Feynman said that you can break down things to the barest minimum to allow people have a better understanding of that particular principle. I don't know if you understand. And yet, they will still be able to explain this thing. This guy was a, was a physicist, imagine. And yet, he still made it. So, I really see no reason why people should be placed under unnecessary pr- pressure. Whether it's from family, whether it's from school, whether it's all that. As far as it's negative pressure, it doesn't make any sense the kind of pressure you should have is that kind of pressure that motivates you to be better and it's a healthy kind of pressure because it has limits and boundaries and as you know even too much of a good thing can be a bad thing so even positive pressure has to be put in check talk less of having excessive negative pressure <sighs> i know i'm talking too much abby <laughs> but that's just it i feel i feel we can do better hmm? i just wish people could really put this as a real talking point so that. A lot of people that are going through a lot of mental challenges in ways that they would love to say can actually come out so have a general talk on this issue pressure 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 i don't know does it ever end who knows <laughs>